Okay, so now I'm going to be talking about tiles. So, what are tiles? Well, if you think of a 2D game where you walk on like a 2D axis, so think for example something like the old Zelda games, or the old Pokemon games, or the old Final Fantasy games, you can basically navigate through the world by pressing up, down, left and right. And you don't have to use tiles just for those games in particular, but that is where they are the most useful. So tiles are a subset of background. So say if, for example, we're in our room and we want to have a grassy area and then maybe a sandy beach and then like blue for the water or brown for the mountains or you want to make your own, well, you could make your own individual tiles as to how they look. But I'm going to, for this example, I'm going to make it very simple. So go into background and you want to click on this use as tile set. And this will bring up these options, but I won't go into that just yet. First of all, I'm going to go into edit background. This is a separate background. So let's say we want four different types of tiles. Usually you'd want more, but again, just a quick example. And we want each tile to be 32 by 32. Well, one thing that you could do is you could manually count out the pixels. Go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight, and so on. Uh, but that could easily cause mistakes. For this instance, what I'm going to try to do is I'm going to go into transform. I'm going to go to resize canvas and make it so that it's two by two pixels wide. So then I can zoom in all the way. And I can make four pixels here. I can make, I can make it like checkered so it's like black and white. And then what I can do is I can go to stretch and uh, we want it to be 32 by 32 but this is a but this is a 2 by 2 grid of 32s so what I'll do is I'll do 2 times 32 which is 64 64 by 64 and the original image was a perfect square so it keeps the ratio there okay and now what this does is you can zoom you can zoom further out and you can see the individual tiles so these are representing each individual tile what you usually do is you usually draw an image in here, so say if you wanted one of grass, you'd draw grass. If you had one of sand, you could draw like dots of yellow. If you wanted one of the sea, you could draw like wavy blue. And you may want different tiles for like the points in which, for example, the water touches the sand. So you might have a tile of mostly water, but a bit of sand at the bottom to show that the water is touching the sand. You can do all sorts. But to make this very simple for now, and just for demonstration purposes, what I am going to do is I am going to use very, very simple colours. Green for grass, yellow for sand, and blue for water and brown for mountain. So there are my basic tiles. And here we have some properties here, where you've got the tile width, like how, how wide you want each tile to be, and how the height is how tall you want each tile to be. It defaults to 16 by 16, but say if I want it 32 by 32, I can just change this to 32 by 32. And now they separate it into four separate tiles. You can choose the offset, so say if I put a 5 in there, it would push everything along by 5. Or if I put the vertical offset, I could put, say, 9 in there, and it would push it all. It puts the tile set down by 9, meaning that this little area here would be a tile and this area here would be a tile and so on which makes sense if you've got like a board around the outside or something but i don't so i'm going to just put that back to zero and then you've got the separators so say if i put the horizontal separator as a five it means that you've got gaps in between the tiles so if you've naturally made it so that there are gaps in between the tiles then you could make use of that and of course there's the vertical separator as well where you can do that. But again, for this is just zero. So let's call this background tiles. So now we're in the room here and you can choose the tiles option up here and you select which tile set you want to use. Here I have the tile set back tiles and you can choose which of the tiles that you want to place in. 
So say for example, I want a grassy area here and a river running through it. So I could put grass pieces here. If you hold down shift, then you can just draw loads like that. So there I have an example of a grassy field and I can put water through it by clicking on the blue one and I can say, right, okay, there's a river running through. If you want to delete a tile, you can right click and then click on delete or delete all tiles under this cursor. Also, if you hold the Alt key, you can hold it down and you can basically go anywhere within the grid itself. If you hold Alt and Shift, you can do sort of like that. Notice that if I go over a tile that I've already been on, it deletes it because delete underlining is checked. Because delete underlying is checked, I can uncheck that so that I can go over without deleting the ones underneath it. If you hold control and click, you can place the tiles above, whereas if you don't, it won't do that. If you hold control and right click, that's a fast way to delete. So, get rid of all this. Let's turn the grid off for now to see how this looks. So there we have our little field with the river running through. Very bland I know, but this is just a demonstration.